And then, of course, the control dropped off. Sorry. Okay, we are live here. Thank you so much. Listen, join. We are here with on WPAT Radio 930 AM on your radio dial. It is multicultural radio, and we are also please alive on Facebook, and we are live on, uh, on YouTube. Just go to our Facebook page, which is Christian Fellowship Council, Facebook official Christian Fellowship Council. I, I have the link there where we are uh, alive on, on, face, on YouTube, so you can just see that when we go there. And please, please go to our uh, Facebook page uh, and also go to our, our regular page, which is our, uh, you are, I'm doing three things at one time. <laughs> please go to our, uh, you, our website at cfcpage.com, cfcpage.com. And when you get a chance, please go there and click on the, uh, click on the, donate button to keep us on the air. So we are on the air live and we have a very exciting show. We have uh, Dr. Ben Johnson, who's a regular on with us. Daryl Fitzgerald is only on audio. But today I'm very excited. My wife and I at the last minute decided to go to this concert because I was nagging her for three days. And she, <laughs> she finally agreed to go, God bless her. And we had the best time. We're here with the band Meatloaf Tribute. I, am, I want to spell it because I don't want to get people confused. It's Meat, M-E-E-T. So Meat, the Meatloaf Tribute Band. And you were here with the band's leader, uh, Ben and Ariel. Welcome, Ben. How are you? Hey, how are you guys doing? Great. So we're so excited to have you here and to talk about the things you are doing. As you know, we've prepared some stuff um, in, in reference and all due respect before we start about talk about the M.E.E., the Meatloaf Tribute Band, I, I really think we, we need to talk about the, the Meatloaf group or the original Meatloaf group. And I, I want to talk about that now. And we can't do it without talking about Jim Steinman. Um, hey, Ben and Ariel, tell us what your, your thoughts on Jim Steinman and who he was. You want to go first? Mm -hmm. Well, he is, he's not a household name, unfortunately, but he is, he's a monster when it comes to his songwriting capabilities. He's definitely a legend. Um, besides him writing um, all the meatloaf, the bat out of hell, a lot of the big meatloaf hits, he's, um, He's written for Celine Dion, It's All Coming Back to Me Now. Um, also, Total Eclipse of the Heart, uh, Bonnie Tyler. Yeah, a lot of, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a very popular song. A lot of people didn't yeah. realize he, he wrote yeah, that. Yeah, that is. Absolutely. Um, Air Supply, Making Love Out of Nothing at All. When you hear it, you're like, oh. Well, that was, and I'm that like, was their biggest hit ever. That right. was the biggest hit ever. And then, He's hey, prolific. He's prolific. He also wrote uh, one of the hit songs in Footloose, Holding Out, uh, Hol Holding Out for a Hero, another Bonnie Tyler song. And mm. what blows my mind is that he wrote for Barry Manilow. Barry Manilow, he he wrote yeah. a, he's a prolific writer. He wrote jingles and stuff. And I, I, I'm just, it blows my mind that he wrote for someone who is such a famous writer. Yeah. So Jim Steinman, here's some pictures of him. Uh, here's when he was younger. He was phenomenal. Listen, the Bad Out of Hell album sold, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, 43, 44 million, million copies. Wow. Know? And that's mega, mega. Just so you know, we were at the ELL concert and they said that ELO sold the 14 million. Okay, so ELO is pretty well known. You know, Bad Out of Hell, just that one album. And we, we can't really continue the interview without actually talking about Meatloaf. Now, Meatloaf was an actor first. Uh, he was in the, uh, it, it, in the um, what was it that, that first the movie? Picture show. The was Rocky the Horror Picture Show. Knows. He was yes, in the Rocky, Rocky Horror. That's it. Back he was day. in that. And yeah. uh, he had a pretty good part in that. It was He had a singing part also. And... He also became uh, sort of the band and his voice and his persona, because he's not your typical rock star. 
you look at all the skinny guys, you know, and uh, they're dancing around. And all of a sudden you have this overweight guy Super singing sweaty. rock. <laughs> Everybody was saying, give me a break. Uh, he, this will never sell. Put- It'll never sell. Mm-hmm. And all of Not a sudden- only that, three minute songs were the norm. And him and Jim Steinman were like, here's a 10 minute song. Here's a few 10 minute songs. <laughs> well, Enjoy that. Battle of the Hell was a, a Bad Out of Hell album. It was just amazing. I think 43 million, 50 million uh, albums. He's appeared. He was, you know, then he, he started. He also appeared in the Fight Club. So he, Meat Loaf was a pretty successful person. His name in his was own. Michael Polson. That's a famous line. Say in, it again. Uh, Michael Polson, he, he's basically, he's a cult figure in Fight Club. So if you watch Fight Club, his name is Michael Polson is something they repeat over and over again. I don't want to give anything away in the movie, but if you watch it, you'll see how influential he was in that movie also. I saw that movie. I don't remember the name, but I wanted to say that, you know, we wanted to give honor and respect to Jim Simon and to actually the original Mike Meatloaf. If it wasn't for them, Ariel, and then you wouldn't be here. Um, However, you're gaining popularity. Tell me about, how people are receiving you? Uh, um, <laughs> we tend to announce or have our audience uh, go to our website or Facebook and give us a review after each show. And we've gotten really powerful five-star reviews. Uh, people say things like, you know, we've seen meatloaf and you sounded like uh, or better than the real meatloaf. Uh, we've had people cry, come up, you know, wanting to take pictures as if he's the real meatloaf and, you know, Mrs. Meatloaf and they want to get a picture of me. <laughs> Mrs. Meatloaf, I love it. Yeah, well, it seems like we really bring the, the nostalgia. That's our main, you know, speaking or talking point whenever we talk about what we do. And that's what I think people are seeking when they go to see a tribute. It's not necessarily, you know, they know they're not seeing the real whoever it is as an artist, but they're really wanting the energy and the essence and the spirit of that time and that artist to come back to life. Yeah, you so, made it, uh, Ben, you made an interesting point at the concert, which I, I didn't even think of. You said, we're not an imi- imitation band. We're a tribute band. What, what's the difference? Um, well, there's some artists out there that do everything they possibly can to look and sound. And, and um, yeah, that, that's the imitation vibe. We're, we're really, like, like Ariel said, we're, we're trying to bring the feeling, the, the nostalgia of going to a concert. And just feeling that feeling that you felt back in 1977 when Bad Out of Hell was going. People are into the music. I particularly don't care that much. Okay, you had a nice wig on. That was fun. Okay, mm-hmm. you, you, you wore the frilly shirts like he did. That was fun. But that's enough. You know, we don't really need that much else. Uh, you know, be, and the crowd, again, I, I'm guessing six, seven hundred people there. Everybody was into it. Everybody was into it. So, um I want to kind of share some other stuff that we were talking about when we get it. So uh, I want to just show a quick video. Can you see this? Oh yeah. Yeah, hold on. I got to do it again. Here's a, just a quick video of, of, of you singing. So I got to tell you, you guys are right on. What'd you think, Dr. Johnson? I can't call I, you. I, I, can't, I can't call you Ben. I got to call you Dr. Johnson. I mean, I, I thought that was you know good because you know when we was growing up, as I was telling you, everybody it had it. It was a style. I graduated in '82, but it wasn't a, a excuse me a black channel or or or, or a Caucasian channel. We list. It was just music. Period. They didn't have all the divisions in. 
So in the 80s was the best music. The world, they say late, I say 80s. People might say 70s. But when I saw this guy, big guy, and one time me and my friends was in school, and this, this guy was going all over the place, sweating towels. And ah, I'm, I'm like, who's this guy? <laughs> but he sounds good. But he's going like he's going bananas on the stage. Hey, you know who he was? But he sounded good. I said, we said, man, look at this guy, big guy, go. Look how he was moving. And stuff, and I, you know, he, he like he have a, a a a seizure or something up there. So you know, we 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 listen, and and again, Led Zeppelin, all of them, Led Zeppelin, everybody, we listened to all the stairways. Hell, we knew we, you know, Elton John. All this was profound music. Elton was in the late seventies, eighties, but all this was such great music. And guess what? They all had meetings. You didn't have to go to a psychiatrist because the oh. songs had the meeting. The meaning in the in the songs to help you with relationships with women or going through something with you know with anybody always was a song that you could find that could help you in the situ situation and it was fantastic the best okay. music in the world you know what all of his songs they told stories that was interesting I mean mm -hmm. Paradise by the Dashboard Light that's a that's a player in our, in itself right there everything so, good yeah so I. Ben, tell us more about, um, so you're playing, how did you get into do, you doing this? We'll talk about you and I want to get to talk about uh, Ariel in a second, but I want to talk about how you wanted to do this. I mean, how did you find out that you could sing like him? Because it's not, that's not an easy thing to do, first of all. Yeah, yeah, it's, it was a unique situation. Ariel and I were, we both have been in cover bands for a long time, not tribute oh. bands, but covers. So we've been singing, you know, Bruno Mars and we sing Motown and we sing. <laughs> yeah. I think they got, uh, you held up there. We'll wait, wait till you come back. And that was yeah. some great music. People just didn't realize how the music really changed the lives of the individuals at that time, really helped them. Um, Gary, I mean, really, I use lines to get young ladies to talk to me and based on the music that I was uh -oh. hearing. Uh -oh. uh -oh. you know, Are you, you back? Hey, ben, hey, Ben, we we lost you for about oh. 40 seconds. You sure got, did. You were froze. I would ask you to close as many things on your computer as you can because, so that you free up the caching. Um, okay. But go ahead. We lost you for about 40 seconds. Can, what were you saying? Go ahead. Um, we're, should we try to switch the, the Wi-Fi? It might be worse. I don't know. No. How is this now? Is this, is this, is this good? Um, so, so basically the guitarist that you met um, on stage was trying to get me out of the cover scene, which is like bars and stuff. And he's like, what, what do you know how to sing? And we pretty much sing everything in the cover. That's cover Scott. Way. Scott was really Scott, good, by the way. Scott Curry, Mr. Scott Curry. Um, and he's related to Tim Curry, who was in Rocky Horror, right? He should be. He should, he should be. be. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just joking. But, uh, so, um, so yeah, he came up with the idea for Meatloaf. And um, I got a karaoke track. I put my vocals down on it. And uh, he's like, I think we have something. And he ended up, recruiting Ariel. Um, we tried recruiting her father and her father's an amazing keyboardist. Um, he wasn't interested, but she, on the other hand, listened to it and she's like, this, this guy kind of sounds like meatloaf. I'm yeah, I definitely, I wasn't interested. He tried to talk me into it and he's like, just listen <laughs> to the demo. I didn't know what meatloaf really sounded like. So when I compared the demo to him, to the actual meatloaf, I'm like, all right, well, maybe we can get something out of this. My dad's like, I don't want to do it, but I think it'll be good for you. You know, it's theatrical and I, I grew up in theater. So I, I was like, all right, I'll give it a shot. So, wow, yeah. wow. That's great. Now, uh, when you were doing this, Remember, Meatloaf lost his voice for a while. Are you having difficulty singing? Uh, because it, it, it's almost like yelling. I, well, I, I don't know if I'm exaggerating, but you're singing loud. Yes. Uh, so I'll tell you what. Um, the cover stuff that I used to do is a lot of like metal screamo stuff. Okay. So a lot of modern rock like Screamo. And I, I was doing a lot of soul stuff. We, we literally in, in Attica, the, the band you'll show, we're, we're doing everything from like the Beatles to Bruno Mars. We do everything. Um, but growing up, uh, I loved, I loved metal and I loved screaming kind of. So it just so happens to be a natural thing for me. So it doesn't hurt your voice. You, you're okay with it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good. That's I'm good. great. Great. Fortunately. So 
Um, I want to talk about you two together because there's a lot of things that you've been together professionally for how long have you been doing this now? Five, the meatloaf piece. Five years. Wow. Well, here you are. And here's your story, right? I love this picture. You just did this picture, right? It just came out. So we did it. We did it about a year ago, but I noticed on Facebook that the, the AF was cut off. So I, I had, uh, I reposted it. Oh, oh, the yeah, F. Yeah, yeah, there you go. The F is it. So I reposted it and everyone's like, oh, I love the picture. And it just so happens we, we've had it for a little while now. Well, I have to admit, if you don't mind me pointing out, I think you lost a little weight from here. Is that true, Mr. Ben? That is true. Last few months, I dropped about 40 pounds, give or take. Whoa. Wow. I'm sure it's um, Ariel is encouraging you to do that. She's behind it. I know that she's she in. Is. She definitely is a powerhouse when it comes yeah. to. We're going to talk about that. She's, she's, and... she's into yoga. She's into health. There's a lot of things. That's so here's good. your. Yeah, That's here's great. your story. She's uh, also a coach. She's a she's a life coach. So she's she's the full package, as they say. The full package. Look at this. So I love the fact that you actually saw, sang a couple of songs from um, from Rocky Horror because mm -hmm. Milo played that. I thought that was great. I wanted to see uh, uh, in the night. I, I love that song, but you didn't do it. But it was it was a lot of fun that you did those things. So um, is your schedule here? Where's your schedule performance? Here we go. Let's take a look. Now, you, you guys do the whole acting thing, which is great, which is exactly what they did. So the next time you're in Pompano Beach, right? Hello, did we lose you? I think, Gary, you might have. Yeah, they keep on... Uh, I'm going to stop. So the next time they're playing is, yeah, we, we saw them here, 326, and then 422 in Pompano Beach. So when sorry. did you think? You, you, you ben, ben, kind of ben, broke ben, up a little bit. Sorry about no, that. No, we lost you totally. You were gone. You, tell us what your schedule is. Um, so there are a few TBDs in there, but we. Um, uh, what's a TBD? A TBD? Uh, to be determines. Okay. Um, so they're they're tentative. Um, our next show, I believe, is uh, Pompano 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 Seafood. For, yep, yep. That that one's going to be a good one. Um, and then right after that, we actually have so Cape Cabaret. We moved. We ended up getting three more dates. So that is that's one of those that we have to change. We just moved it yesterday. Um, Boca Black Box is the one up after that. That's another good one. Um, Savannah Center um, is probably the most professional group that we've worked with when it comes to lighting and, and um, stage and sound. It's, it's like a real, real, like real theater experience. And then you go to Pennsylvania. And then, yeah. And then we've got a Northeast tour, um, a few dates that we haven't announced yet. And we might actually have a Canada tour. Wow. That's That's now, good. where's, where's, how, how, I, I just moved to Florida from New York just six months ago. Where is Hogginsburg, New York? So I believe it is upstate. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's upstate. I've never heard of it. It's and like right you, on the border of, of Canada, I believe. Wow. And, wow, that's way upstate. Then you go back to yeah. Pennsylvania, Colorado. Wow. All over yeah, the place. So there are a few in there that we have not announced yet, but we have, we have a few uh, New York New York shows. We have a, a few um, Philadelphia, the Colorado, um, and a few con uh, festivals contacting us for the in between during the weekday. Um, so yeah. Now, as you got the guys got together professionally, just like the romantic stories we read about in the, well, we hear about in the music. You became uh, romantically involved. Actually, you have a child. Uh, I want to show some of the pictures uh, that, we, that we have about. Without meatloaf, we would not have a baby right now. How amazing. Well, look that? at, listen, at something else to see. Let me see. There we go. And 
That's her dad, the first picture. <laughs> oh, that was her dad? Okay. <laughs> yeah. So here you are, you actually played uh, uh, the part, I don't know the name of the part, but this is the, the play Hair, which they're bringing back on Broadway, which is pretty exciting. Now, tell us about that. What you're doing here doesn't look easy, first of all. <laughs> tell, uh, Ariel, tell us about what you do here. As a representation of my yogi self, I became certified as a registered yoga teacher through the Yoga Alliance. I did my first 200-hour training I think, when I was 18, which was around Whoa. the time. And I did another 200 hour after that. I did a 300 hour uh, right after um, our daughter. We're up, to se we're up to 700 hours, keep going, I'm keeping count. <laughs> so I think the top uh, credential or level is RYT, registered yoga teacher, 500 hours. So I'm up to that. And then you can continue to, you can add an E in front of that, E-R-Y-T, which is- a so you're, you're, a black, you're a black belt yoga teacher. Yeah? Exactly. Yes. <laughs> yes. So the more hours you have teaching, you know, you build that up, you keep up your educational, you know, requirements. So, um, and it I- keep, It keeps you in shape, doesn't it? It's more than it, just- It is. Yes. Um, yeah, there, physical, mental, spiritual. If you look, there's eight limbs of yoga, and I won't necessarily get into each of them, but only one of the eight limbs are uh, the asana, which is Sanskrit for the actual postures, the poses that you flow through. So there's a whole lot more of you know work within the mind um, that you do that comprise the other eight limbs and other physical practices like cleansing. A life practice. coach and a health coach. Uh, hey, can, okay. can, can Gary, can I ask you, is Ben, is ben also doing that? Because I like to see him with a black belt too. <laughs> you know, he helped me get my 300 hour <laughs> certification. He was kind of my little, my yogi puppet. Well, yeah, during during the pandemic, there was nobody to really uh, have have do some, some of the moves and she taught me them and I helped ben, her out. Ben, can you do this? Can you do that, Ben? He's halfway there. Oh, that's <laughs> one day I'll be able to master that. That's good. <laughs> Maybe drop another 40 pounds and I'll be there. No, you're good. I mean, it's good for your health because you do a lot of traveling and got a lot of bookings. So you got to keep your health up and everything. And that's a great way to do it, to stay in shape and, and breathing techniques of breathing and things of that nature is great. Right. Yeah, I think the actual uh, meatloaf had some breathing problems. He passed out a few times on stage, mm -hmm. so we're trying to avoid. Oh that. wow, interesting! Wow. Wow. Yeah, wow, that cardiovascular. I didn't know until now that you were also a Fleetwood Black Mac uh, tribute band. Also, yes. What what the, what don't you do? <laughs> oh, we have agents contacting us like, hey, can you? Can you do this? Can you do that? So we have a few other projects in the works. Um, That's right. Yeah, we have um, a duets project, which is the greatest duets of all time. Uh, Marvin yeah. Gaye, you know, Mountain High Enough, and all different kinds of good stuff with that. Wow, project. that's great. That's yeah, so, and then with the Fleetwood Flashback, we, um, we've been doing that for what, like three years now? Um, wow. And so on this tour uh, for Meatloaf on days, um, where you know we still want a gig, but vocally it might be too straining. If I do, let's say, 13 shows in a row, um, we're getting Fleetwood shows to add to the tour, so we can just keep the train rolling, so to speak. Mm. Why not? Do you do? Uh, do you do in the background? Do you do? Uh, who's that in the background? I forgot her name. Janice Joplin. Uh, she's, do you do her? I, yeah, I haven't developed a full tribute. I, I did something called Iconic Women of Rock. Um, so I had another lead vocalist do a lot of heart and I was doing um, some Pat Benatar and Janis Joplin. Yeah. Stevie Nicks. Pat. Awesome. yeah. I love Pat Benatar. That was, that was, that was my girl back in the day. I loved, yeah. I loved her. <laughs> she was classically trained too in opera. So she had a really powerful background vocal. Really? Wow, I never knew that. Me either. This is, uh, this I'm is the curious. Was, was Meatloaf was he was Meatloaf classically trained in, in opera? Because he sure had a voice that sounded like he it. was classically trained in rock and roll. Yeah, but he sounded like he had an operetta. You know? Yeah, yeah. 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 He, he used a special special soul when it comes to the acting, and that's really what he wanted to do. He just wanted to act, and he fell. Yes, into he he did a good job. He pulled oh, it yeah. off. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, look at this. Tell us about this, Ariel. This is interesting. You're not holding a, a basket, are you there? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> so that was towards the end of my pregnancy. I was actually on what uh, I guess our culture refers to as a baby shower, but we 
we took the more spiritual approach of blessing way where it's kind of more focused on, you know, honoring the mother and it's also she, a birthing into the mother role. So we had, you know, a sacred ritual and ceremony with that. And that was on that day, um, a couple weeks before our daughter Harmony was born. Now, we, I saw Harmony at the play, at the, um, at the concert. Uh, she was walking around with your mother, Ariel, or your, whose mother was it? That's Mama Loaf. That was my mom. Okay, so yeah. And uh, she was a, as cute as a doll. I was very happy that she had earphones on her to protect their ears. So that yes, was, that, that's that great. was very good. So I, uh, I love her name. I like her. I love her name, Harmony. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Harmony. <laughs> You got to write a song about that. Now, is this? Did you get married, or you? I. So you're going to get actually. This is the night before Harmony was born. Uh, Ariel wow. felt, felt the baby coming, and we we ended up going to the highest peak in Coral Springs, which is where okay. we live. It's probably about thirty-seven <laughs> feet off of, of uh, off of uh, the sea level, right? You know? Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's called Three Friends Park, and it's a beautiful spot. And and just so happened that was the night before. And we were doing maternity pictures every month wherever we were. We we were traveling actually a lot too during my pregnancy. I went to Israel at one point. Wow, that's wow. a great shot. I love that shot there yeah, with the left. sun setting. Yeah. yeah, it's gorgeous. So there's the baby, there's Harmony. And so one thing that we didn't send to you, and it just shows what kind of mental shape she's in, um, she had a water birth at home with Harmony. I was actually, what? in that last picture, I was having contractions. That was the, I was in active labor. Um, and right after that photo shoot, we went pretty much back uh, to my oh. dad's house. And uh, that was where we had our water, our tub set up for the birth and pretty much was up oh. all night and at like five in the morning gave birth. In the did you have, did you have a, a, a midwife there? Yes. I did midwife. Okay, good, um, good. We also had midwife births. Oh yeah. yeah. Yes, uh, not, not at home, yours was at home, but ours was at a hospital with a midwife. Now, when you say water birth, what does that mean? So they blew up, uh, the, the midwife and the assistant blew up this like very round tub in the living room space we cleared out. We had it all decorated. Really it looked like a swimming pool that had like a four foot wall to it. Yeah. Wow. So she literally was born in the tub, like in underwater. I put like really cool lights underneath it. So it looked like there were stars underneath her. It was, it was, so she, yeah. from the second she was born, you taught her to swim. That's amazing. Exactly. Hey, you taught, <laughs> hey, hey, he taught her how to be a rock star too with the lights now. <laughs> right. right. Here's first spotlight. <laughs> yes. There she is. Look at the boots. I love the boots. <laughs> <laughs> She's singing already. Oh it's yeah. Like mom and dad. All the time. Psycho Spiritual Institute. Wow, that's a great shot. What do you, this is a meatloaf tribute here? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. the village. That's right? the stage he was referring to before yeah. at the Savannah Center. Wow, that, this is, that's a great shot. And here you are, there's a little bit older. How old is she now? She, right now she's 28 months. So that was probably wow. maybe six months ago or so. Yeah, I just became a grandfather about uh, six weeks ago for the first time. Congratulations. Very exciting. There you go. Some great shots. In. Now, tell me about Attica, because again, not only do you do Fleetwood Mac and you do cover bands and you do meatloaf, but you do Attica. What is that? Uh, Attica's, it's, a, it's evolved into somewhat of a corporate slash wedding band. We started out as kind of a rock cover band. I wasn't involved. My dad wasn't involved on the keys and, you know, we were brought on board and it's evolved now. Uh, we're doing a lot of corporate events and weddings um, and some local city events also. But basically we're, we're a tribute style cover band. So, so if you want jazz, we can do jazz. If you want blues, we do blues. Uh, you want rock, we could do rock. You want party Disco. music, everything. Everything. By the way, that gentleman in the fedora is her dad. Yeah. Oh, there! Wow. Mm -hmm. Look at that. And he plays the piano. Now, the woman you had playing piano during the concert was phenomenal. He's so his specialty is is not only he's he's got all the techniques she has, um, and her name is Cecilia Roy. She is phenomenal. The only one that I know that could play the intro to "Bad Out of Hell." The way she does is phenomenal. Um, but what I, I, is, and, I, and I love that intro. It's amazing. It's amazing. Supposedly Jim Steinman 
Uh, yeah, Eldad, uh, which is her dad's name, Eldad, he showed me a video of Jim Steinman saying it can't be done. He actually, he didn't even play it. They, they ended up recording it. And, and so the way she does it is phenomenal. I'm blown away that she could even do it correctly. But his, Really? His, I'd, love, yeah. I'd love to see that video. Is that on YouTube? It is. It is. I'll, I'll end up sending it to you or I'll have Eldad send it to me. I remember he showed it to me because I've, I've been trying. Before we had Cecilia, I was really being a pest and I was trying trying to get him in the band because he's so great um but to no avail okay <laughs> we're continuing here Here's another. <laughs> this is probably this is not meatloaf obviously what that's Attica right there that's Attica, uh, okay. Wellington Amphitheater right there all right rock and roll gear all rocked out looks great yeah. There's the baby. This is definitely, I, I love the red handkerchief. That's what Meatloaf did. He had the red handkerchief. That was great. I love it. Awesome. This is Fleetwood Mac, right? Yes, it is. Yes, nice it is. guitar. There you go. It's, it's good to see you playing some instruments because when I were there, Gary, you were... I have a pressing question. I have a question. Yeah, go ahead, Dara. Do you, thank you. you know, do you actually write, do you write your original music? Do you write songs? Do you write your own um, music? So I, I have a bunch of original music. It's, it's, um, it's metal. It's, it's like rock screamo stuff. Um, I have a few acoustic songs that are really pretty and uh, melodic. So I used to, before we got into the Meatloaf uh, band and, and really focusing on driving this train, I was, I was creating quite a bit. Great. Yeah, you can seem so passionate artistically creative, you know? I knew you had it in there. Yeah, that was my first love. I actually used to look at uh, cover artists and tribute artists as lesser because they weren't creating. And um, mm. I, but it's that's, you know what? That's, that's the only choice. That's it's almost the only choice today, Ben. There's more. There's more tribute bands than original bands out there. Would you say that's true? I would. And some of the greatest original bands out there are making a fraction of a fraction of what we're making. Oh, look at that. So, so it's, yeah. it's an interesting thing. But eventually, as people get older, you know, you're going to have to get to originals eventually, right? We'll have right. to see. Uh, you know, we're, we're writing for Harmony right now. Though, so we, we have a few really cool kids songs that, that we're writing. <laughs> This is definitely Rocky Horror here. This is uh, this is the real Meatloaf, by the way, uh, and, and so this yeah. is a, a copy of the two of yeah. you. That's, I love that picture. Yeah, I used to I used to go to the show back in the day, and and we had Rocky Horror throwing all the paper, and man, it was great. When <laughs> I was in college, we did oh, all that. Yeah. Shit. That was and that was Rocky Horror is cold classic for sure. I, yeah, I, yes, I, it is. I don't know if I told any if I mentioned I did see. Um, Meatloaf in concert. When did his when did his um when did his album come out? Nineteen seventy seven is the Bad Out of Hell. Okay, all right. So then I was uh, I was driving a ice cream truck when it came out, and I used to listen to it on the ice cream truck. It was uh, a great <laughs> thing. Yeah, amazing. So there you are again. Love between the two of you and the baby. I love the baby. They got the picture there and uh, meet love. Hey, actually, you spelled it out. Good job there on the T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that shot. Look at that. Funny. Hey, Gary, can I ask a question? Of course. Go ahead. I would just I mean, I'm just one. This is kind of off the um, a little bit. But uh, the group Led Zeppelin is anybody can duplicate. They said the drummer was the best that ever lived. He was, they said they can't find anybody who could do drums like him or whatever the case is. He died. But the voice of of you know in the group of Led Zeppelin, man, that was a that was amazing how that guy sounded. They're undeniably brilliant. There is a, a modern rock band. Um, their name is um, Greta Van Fleet. They sound very, very, very reminiscent to the actual band Led Zeppelin. However, when Robert Plant, he, Robert Plant basically came out a few months ago and said, I love Greta Van Fleet and I'm, I'm so happy they were inspired by us. And then the, the lead singer of Greta Van Fleet was like, I don't know what you're talking about, Robert. We're not, not inspired <laughs> by Led Zeppelin at all. But wow. you, you listen to Greta Van Fleet and it's like, it's a young, 
a young Led Zeppelin, but Bonham is the drummer you were talking about. He's, they're all Jimmy Page. They're just a super group. Well, I did, I, a friend of mine did see the, a cover band Led Zeppelin and they said every note was phenomenal. So yeah, every note was right on. So I, I don't, that was Greta. That could have been somebody else. Greta Van Fleet. They're two brothers basically. And uh, they're, they're really good. Um, Definitely not Led Zeppelin, but they're really good. Mm. Oh, how cute. Give me a couple of pictures there. Hey, listen, tell everybody, what's your, what, what's your website? For Meatloaf. Yes. So M-E-E-T, MeatloafTribute.com. Meat is spelled M-E-E-T, MeatloafTribute.com. Oh, look at that. It's a cute picture. I like that one. Mm-hmm. There we go with that one. And we're done there. All right. So I want to listen to this quickly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He, he yeah is, that her, is, is she singing that? Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Singing. Yeah, that's great. She's singing this. Wow. Hey, that sounds I, great. Tony's joining us. Uh, Tony, we were. Uh, I, I I had to leave you on hold for a while. I couldn't let you join because we were in the middle of something. But here, he's actually in the studio. Tony, say hi to Ben and Ariel from Meatloaf. Hey, hello. Hey. What's going on? What's going well, I'm on? a little late. Hey, That's hey. all right. I had to keep you. I was in the middle of something. So, uh, you ever hear Meatloaf? He's too young. You ever hear Meatloaf, Anthony? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I've, yeah. I've, I've, I've listened to some of his music, yeah. All right. So, that's what we're talking about today. So, we're, we're here with Meatloaf, M E E T L O F L O A F, tribute.com. Uh, I went to the concert a couple of weeks ago. It was phenomenal. I, I, I encourage everybody to go see them. They, they're playing in, in different places. Go to the website, Meatloaf Tribute, M-E-E-T-L-O-A-F Tribute.com. You can get, see their, you, you can see their schedule, see what they're doing. But they do, these people, they, they sound like they're pretty, to me, like they sound, you guys are pretty busy. Here's an Attica. Let's take a listen to an Attica. <laughs> Now I want to point out you had a you had a we had, yeah. we had a quick shot of some people dancing. And when you were at Orange, Port Orange, and you were performing, people could not, they couldn't sit still. They just jumped out in front and they were, uh, 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 one guy jumped on stage at one point. Uh, he was welcome. There was people, a lot of people were dancing and really got into it. Do you find that that's typical at your events? Yeah. Yeah. We, we bring a, uh that special kind of magic that gets people to feel and, and want to interact for sure. Well, the music is going 90 miles an hour in your brain and your heart. And so it's like, it's like, you want to get up there. I, I jumped up, my wife grabbed me and said, you sit down. Uh, <laughs> did you do, no. you did some, oh, did you do some you stage did you... diving, Gary? <laughs> yeah, I was ready. I was ready to do that. I'm only joking. I, that's yeah. not me. I didn't you can go, you can go moonwalk up there, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> He was Gary. Gary was about to get in the mosh pit. That's yeah. it. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. and, but you know, um, Gary, when you see people get up and stuff, that's the ultimate um, to me of a, a compliment. Because if yeah. you if you preaching or something, if somebody gets. I mean, that's the ultimate knowing that it's touching some things in them that brings that nostalgia back. You know, right. things that you used to remember and stuff, and, and the days you lived in that. You know. 
and their everything, man. That's the thing about the beauty of going back and hearing some of this stuff. You just remember times what you were doing, your friends, you know, girlfriends, all that. That's I mean, that's amazing. And and they he's really, really good and the um wife. So definitely got to see him come to Atlanta. Or I might have to fly a plane to um New York to see all no, of no, <laughs> no, Dr. Johnson, you gotta find a venue for them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. that's Even your time. local contact. He, oh, there's there is a harmony. Let's take a look. Say hello, Harmony. Hello. Oh, he's shy, huh? Yeah. Hey. Yay. Hi. Yeah. Hello, baby. Oh, how you doing? Future musician. Hi, huh? Yeah. We couldn't find a babysitter for this, so she's been. No, we don't. We love. You don't need her. no babysitter. You don't need no babysitter. He's ready no for TV. He's ready for TV. That's ready. Ready. <laughs> so I want to play. I want to play your Fleetwood. Fleetwood. Fleet, say that five times fast. Fleetwood flashback. Fleetwood flashback. Fleetwood flashback. I can't do it. <laughs> oh, there she goes. She's talking now. Okay. What'd she say? Go ahead. She goes. Look, harmony in the corner. And mommy, daddy. Oh. Here we go. Seven. So yeah, I forgot about that. TV one. Mix. TV yeah, mix. yeah, yeah, yeah. Epic it. harmonies on on mm. in that project for sure. I mean, y'all y'all guys live a fun fun life. That's a fun way to live, to sing, have I mean fun. And I know it's work with it, but it's bringing joy to other folks is 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 is, is what I call. That's a great great way to live. You guys look <laughs> real busy. I'm telling you, you 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 you're doing yeah. ten different projects at one time. <laughs> We do. Yeah. They're like the concert and professionals. I mean, look at that range they have. They can sing uh, uh, soul, rock. I mean, it's just like, it's like everything. Really amazing. Yeah. Wow, that is amazing. Everything. <laughs> Marvin Gaye, all that. I, you know, I, I can see. I, I thought you was gonna have a, um, a hair like Marvin Gaye up there or something. Oh man, <laughs> that's the next step. That's the next step. I know I'm a I'm bit late, fun. but have you have you performed in New York, New York City? We, no, not. So so far we've been stuck in Florida, but we're about to break out, and um, we've got yeah. national act for Fleetwood and Meatloaf in uh, the Northeast in July, yeah. um, and then we're gonna have the international with the Canada tour. So we're finally starting to to break out of this Florida show that we're in. Oh, cool! Yeah, you got to come well, up the north. Yeah, yeah. yeah. These your guys are good. Yeah, yeah. I can see you guys at uh, like a Webster Hall. I think Webster Hall is still open. I'm writing you know it what? Down right now. I'm writing it. Webster Hall is a great place. It's a great venue in uh, Midtown. Uh, it's like almost in Midtown Manhattan. You know. Okay. I want to play. Been... You know what? I want to play the your your welcome video again because I I didn't play much of it. So I now that we got a chance. I want to hear some more uh, from the beginning. Dreams are coming through. You better believe in that I would do anything for love, and I'll be there till the final act. And I would do anything for love, and I'll take you out and see you. You got 
So I just my... have to stop wow. you. Every time I see this video is from five years ago. Um, this is like the first big stage that I was ever on and we shot the promo. So I, I look back and I'm like, wow, I'm so green. I'm so green. Uh, now the way I own the stage and I command the stage, it's, man, I look back and it looks like I'm a deer in headlights in that video. It's just fun to watch kind of. You got to do a better video then. Get a better yeah, oh, video. So we, we have a promo being shot at uh, at the Villages. Um, wonderful. The, the lady who did our Attica promo that you have on there is doing our meatloaf promo. And um, she already shot half of it at the Venice Performing Arts Center. Um, yeah, so definitely excited to get the new promo because I look back and I'm like, man, we are both so green. That was literally, that was our first show we ever did. Um, and we got the promo of it. Well, it takes some chutzpah to put your first show on your website. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> wow, wow. So um, you'll be, please, hey, join us. We're uh, cfcpage.com. Please go to cfcpage.com. Go to our website. Uh, uh, website is facebook.com slash Christian Fellowship Council. And we're on YouTube. You can click. We put the link there where you can see them live. We, and even after today, we'll be able to see what we're talking about with, with Meatloaf, which is Ben Israel and also Ariel um, and their wonderful daughter, Melody. And everything they're doing, we're so excited. I have to tell you guys, I was very impressed with your professionalism. A lot of people that we try to get on the show, they don't contact us. They come on and not prepared. You provided us with a wealth of information, which were, were just made this in interview flow. So we appreciate your professionalism. So we got about uh, 10 minutes. Tell us about uh, what's, on, what's on your plate. For, uh, well, first of all, do we miss anything as we're going through here? Anything you wanted to mention that we missed did a good job you, you uh, hit every okay. uh every base all right so let's talk mm -hmm. about uh let's talk about the future anything uh what's happening next uh so with this project we we've got the tour coming and and um we're finally starting to break out which feels great the fleetwood's going to follow along and we're getting a promo for fleetwood a better promo um the duets which is the greatest duets of all time that's coming. Um, and then we possibly have some other projects that won't be announced today, but <laughs> there's so much going on right now. It's a, it's a whirlwind. For us. Now you're saying you're breaking out. Can you dive into that? What that means? Yeah. So when we first started out, it was basically like two shows, three shows, maybe in a year. And um, then it got all the way up to now we're having two or three a month, all in Florida. Um, and, and now we're, we're starting to go national and international. So with all the five-star reviews and how people feel about our band. Um, well, you know what? I did try to give you a five-star review. I had trouble at least on my, uh, on my Android. I am, I, I am going to try here. Here's your Facebook page, Meatloaf. Yeah, so right there where it says reviews, mo a lot of people have been having um, difficulties getting to the review spot. Hey, my wife put one in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there, she was there. Well, that's it. She gave her five uh, Lead, lead singer sounds so much like Pete Bell's retrieve. It was fun, talented singers, musicians. I were clearly love the music. Oh, wow. Energetic. Wow. My wife's pretty good. God bless her. Look at this. <laughs> she was able to get on. So I, I'm, I'm going to do that when I get a chance. Uh, I'll, I'll put mine because I did try, but I'll try again. And but Gary. Yes. I know in the future, I guess, you know, you could see them doing a documentary for TV for like Netflix and how they started off and how did it get came together and stuff? You can see that brewing somewhere down the line because you can see that coming because they want to know where it came from, how they started. And that's what you see when you watch Netflix. It's a whole bunch of documentaries of well, how it, people it, it's coming in the future. We'll see you, we'll see you on Netflix. And one well, of them talking about how they got started. Ben, I want to tell you, if you are interested in that, please contact me because I do. Uh, that's uh, something else I do. I'm involved with certain TV projects, uh, which I haven't talked to you about. But uh, if that's an interest, we can talk about that. It'll be, it'll be interesting. It'll be difficult to do that legally, I think, um, with the Meat Love people. So it, 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 because it's about you, but it's about him. It'd be interesting. So 
but we, we I think it'd be interesting to do that. So good suggestion, Ben, Ben Johnson. Like Very good. And we would absolutely be interested. Absolutely. Well, just let me know. I have to put it out. Sure. It's, it's a complicated process to go through, but I'll be I'll, I'll actually totally willing to help. So um, any more children on the way? Are you planning or are you just happy there with the one? Um, so now that we're finally starting to have some stability, oh, and <laughs> she's walking out the door. Um, financial stability was a big thing for us. And, um, oh, is, yeah, in, in the music industry, yep. Yeah, right, and, and to climb this ladder, we're finally starting to actually get up there and, and get a little more stable. So most likely in the next few years, maybe less, who knows, but it's, it's definitely something we've been talking about here. That's great. Well, you have a wonderful daughter there. She's really a, a part of the part of the, the whole persona. And, and she's you know, coming on tour with us. Well, oh, cool. man, that, she should. She definitely should. So you're going to be Put on her in tour. a band. Make it yeah. a big band, big family at, band. At you know? the end of every show, we we love to bring her out, and um, yeah, we're we're going to keep that. The, keep that yeah, you can have. He can have a son called Little Meatloaf in the, in the future. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right. We're trying to figure I'm so out. excited when Ben and Ariel come near me. I'm definitely buying a ticket. Definitely. Oh, I, I hope they. I hope. I hope. The, I hope the casinos and everything to come up. I want. Yeah, you know I that's want, a good point. The casinos would love the casinos. Would yeah, love you, love you, you have two yeah. casinos on the tour. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say. Well, they're they're on our website, yeah. so at least the. the I'll Mo be on that website. Mohawk Casino, no. one of them. Uh, where Where is that? Where is that Mohawk Al Casino? Allen's in Hogansburg. That's, that's oh that's the, oh that's the one in New York. That's that's the Hogansburg. There's another one that I don't know if I can mention yet, but it's um it's a few hundred miles away. It's another casino. They got okay. they got some great ones in Michigan. I mean Michigan. I mean I could I, the music they'll love that. I, hey I Ben, know. I think you're gonna be a promoter, Doctor Johnson. You're gonna be a promoter. I just know that they they you can see it. Cause that's what people want to get. Cause we the I didn't say we're the baby boom, but we want to hear stuff like that. We, I mean, everybody forgets about us, you know. Oh, you know, older guys. I'm in my fifties, but I and they forget about me, you know. So I'm, I love it. I love it. Now, Ariel, you, uh, you were speaking. Uh, I'm sorry, we interrupted you. What were you saying? Sorry, I'm sorry. No, no, not you, not you. I did. I interrupted her. I do it all yeah. the time. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't remember necessarily. <laughs> I don't even remember talking actually. Uh, <laughs> well, she's so shy, but she when she's on that stage, she's not shy yeah. at all. <laughs> she's she's the, my yeah. she Once she gets in the outfit, the, the, the whole persona comes out, huh? Yeah. yeah that's great. Wow. Meatloaftribute.com. And uh, you know what? Do you have links on that to your other bands, to the Attica, to the uh, Oh, so on our Facebook page, on our personal Facebook page, we have all those links. Um, for the meatloaf, we're, we're keeping them for now. They're they're not on there. They're everything's separate when it comes to the website. We might add yeah. another button, you know, to or a link to be able to click into other projects or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. But hey, my personal point of view, meatloaf all the way. Forget about all this other stuff. You know, uh, me personally, Fleetwood Mac, ah, okay, you know. Uh, but, I'll tell you uh, what, the theatrics of it, the theatrics of a meatloaf show. Yes. It, it really wins me over, my soul over. We're, we're both, we love the stage. Um, and just being able to sing is, is amazing, but being able to act up there and it's, it's, that's what's special is meatloaf has that um, going forward as we well you know you almost got x-rated there in paradise by the dashboard hey, hey, hey. <laughs> there's, there's some live footage of the real meatloaf with carla devito that blows it blew our mind when we first saw it them yeah. cursing at each other and re it gets really it's it's basically vulgar. a marriage you know they've been together for 30 years like what do real couples do behind the scenes and that's what they were doing on stage i've been married 34 years uh, it never happened here <laughs> <laughs> Tell the truth, Gary. Tell the truth. <laughs> no, that is the truth. Listen, if, I'm just I, I, listen, if an argument starts, I lose. So I, I don't I don't ever get in any arguments, you know. I'm very Smart happily man. married. Smart man. Very happily married, and my wife is miserable. Miserable. <laughs> no, <it's true. laughs> wow, Gary. Ah. 
So, uh, wow, we've got just uh, a minute and a half here. So what do you want to leave us with, Ben and uh, Ariel? You first. Well, this summer tour we named Heaven Can Wait, and we're really trying to pay homage to both Meatloaf and Jim Steinman, which they both did die uh, within 12 months of each other, one Thank you. last wow. year yes. and one this year. So just you know, honoring both of them. Huge. and them. They were both about the same age, about 73, 74? Yeah, yep. a year apart. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's <clears throat> a shame. And people don't realize how massive 44 million album sold is that is uh, mad very mad uh, in the top uh, top 100 where does that sit i don't know i wish i knew off the top of my head do you know that so i keep hearing a stat that it was the fifth best selling album of all time okay wow okay what was number one you know that i don't know it was probably titanic right no <laughs> <laughs> no Maybe the Beatles' White Album, maybe. Who knows? Let me see. Best I, 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 I believe it's Off the Wall by Michael Jackson. It is. <laughs> oh, you're probably right. We have two, uh, we, 20 seconds here before we get on the air. We'll, we'll still be on the YouTube, but I got to go also. So listen, please go to Meatloaf, M-E-E-T-L-O-A-F, Tribute Band. They're phenomenal. You'll see Ariel and, uh, and her husband, Ben, or future husband, I think, and uh, what a show. <laughs> and you loped in August, right Listen, after the tour. Come back, come back. We'll do a, a follow up. So we're, I think we're off the air on the radio. We're still on YouTube. Thank you so much. Ben, you and I have got to connect. I've got an appointment I got to run to. Uh, for Wednesday is my busy day. Ben and Tony, thanks for joining us. God bless you. They're playing another show, uh, a rerun. So Willie's playing a rerun. Thank you so much for joining us and God bless you. Dr. Ben, Tony, God Gary, thank you guys. You. you guys are great. Looking forward great. to seeing you guys. We'll be seeing you in I concert. Yeah, right. I'm going to run on, I'm gonna run yeah. on stage. I'm gonna Let's run on make stage. it happen. You guys will get VIP passes. <laughs> All right.